so i have seen um instagrams and there are so many um posts on about the morphe palettes and i have recently got this one this is 35 m and 35 os so i really wanted to picture um i really wanted to film a video on these two palettes using these two palettes i'm i'm not sure i'm doing it for the first time so i don't know how this is gonna turn up and i really don't know what type of uh, makeup look i want to create but i already did my brows and my face so i am pretty much sure that i want to use this palette in front of you guys and so this is the outer box and i have this pen in front of me so this has cost me around 40 to 50 dollars and this is 35 om and 35 os so i'm gonna show you how these palettes act. well you have seen my if you're following me on instagram that you might have seen my unboxing video as well if you're not then you need to follow on me on instagram and this is my 35 om morphe palette and if you see the box Ooh. so this has all of the beautiful neutral shades and they have a little bit of glitter on it so first of all what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take out this cover out of it and let's put this here and let's make a swatch okay so i'm gonna take one of the shades and i think i kind of like this burgundy shade so i'm gonna take this shade and i'm gonna swatch it on my arm so let's do one two three four and five which is quite too much and i'm gonna swatch this here this is quite pigmented and a beautiful shade I would say it's pretty so impressive I mean yeah it has a lot of glitter and shimmer in it hmm. okay let's take one more shade out of this palette and I'm gonna take a bit of darker shade and I think this cocoa shimmery cocoa shade Let's try to put the shimmer on it. Five. Mm -hmm. Ooh. So this is how these two, this one palette is 35 OM. Quite pigmented, bit powdery and too soft. So kind of impressive. Let's see how this is going to turn up when you put this one on eyes. Next palette is 35 OS. Show sure that this is matte nude shades, if I'm not wrong. Oh. Yes. So this has all these dark matte nude shades. And let's take a swatch of it so I'm gonna use this one for swatching one two three four five again I put it here hmm. quite pigmented I'm gonna take one more swatch of a mad burgundy shade huh pretty good so I'm gonna use all these two palettes on my eyes let's see how we're gonna create this makeup look and I'm pretty I'm not sure what type of makeup look I want but I know that this is festival season and a lot of people are going uh, to uh, to visit their families and friends so this weekend so i'm gonna try to make this look um festive i think so so let's get started so these two palettes were quite hyped on instagram so i thought i should really get this one so i'm gonna use um this lighter shade 
So once I put my Zoeva brush on it, so it has a lot of fallout around the palette area. So I think we should be careful while we're using this palette for preventing our fallouts. But I want to make sure that I want to do it very quick because I'm ready to go outside to get my hair color done. I think I want this makeup look a bit pinkish because it's spring as well and it's festivity also. So I guess I'm gonna go with, with this burgundy color. Ooh, this is so pigmented. And I'm gonna take you a little bit closer so that you can see what I'm doing with my eyes. Oh, I guess I wanna take this bit of pinkish shade, which is right here. shade with this pretty good cool color but I guess this looks very much similar so I cannot get the effect of it I may want to add some lighter shade maybe on top of it so that I can make it different let's see so far I'm liking it okay so far I'm liking this particular shade I think this is turning out well but I really didn't want to create a bit of something on this middle portion so that I can make a difference between here and here you know what I mean if you can understand yeah so probably I want to take bit lighter shade or maybe something goldenish so I may want to go with this shade yeah so let's try this one my lower in lower eyelid as well but do not worry about it because we have to have smudged this one okay so I'm gonna take a fine clean brush and I'm gonna take most nude shade and I'm gonna blend this all out this one okay so these eyeshadows they blend pretty well so if somebody is wondering how they blend so they blend out pretty well see look at this whole thing now I'm gonna take a very light shade from this particular eyeshadow and I'm gonna use this to highlight my brow area. Ooh. 
Ooh, this can be a good highlighter as well. So guys, you have a palette with a highlighter. some color on this corner to make it a little bit hmm. I'm gonna I am pretty much happy with the way it's looking right now uh, let's put some liner and let's see how does it come out matte liquid liner which you know I am with it because this is such a matte and it's if you are a fan of a winged eyeliner then it gives you a perfect wing use my Adele falsies in the number 120 So to work on my lower lashes, I mix up these two shades, I guess, because I used this one already and I want I want to smudge it out because this is quite looking looking very really really sharp so I'm gonna use a really light shade from this palette which is this one if you can see so far so good so time to add some more liner use my ST Lauder mascaras one has primer another one has a a literal mascara actually so nude liner like to underline my waterline so difficult for me to keep my eyes open while I'm doing this Ooh. Okay, so now I'm gonna add some highlighter and for highlighter, I am definitely gonna use this palette only which is 350S. And for that, I'm gonna use this, I'm going to use this shade which is really light and let's see. I'm gonna put this one on my ear that and I'm gonna take to my contour line it's a good highlighter see Woo.
using this highlighter or an eyeshadow. Let's see. Take my fan brush and I'm trying to go through this one easily. Whew. Whoa. Well, you can use this palette as a highlighter as well. This is weird, but this is true. Look at this glow. I'm gonna use it for my highlighter as well. And I'm gonna add some of this golden shadow on top of this. Oh, look at this glow. And so the palette did an awesome job. I like how the, the eyes turn out and you can use this palette as a highlighter. That's a plus point. Now uh, to finish my cheeks, I'm gonna add some bronzer and for bronzer, I'll be right back. For bronzer, I'm gonna use my Fit Me, Maybelline Fit Me bronzer and the lid is broke because I use this almost every day. And I'm gonna take this brush Zoe Eva brush and let's bronze it let's bronze it though well I know I should not have add this highlighter before my bronzing but sometimes to adding a bronzer after your highlighter makes your face or makes your highlighter uh, you know blend pretty well with your bronzer and your blusher cosmetics palette and I think I'm gonna take a peachy shade peachy so I'm gonna mix this one and be careful this is also very pigmented and this one let's see okay pretty light handed So this is not too dark, not too light because I already did my pinky pinky eyes so I don't want to look a bit of more pinky. So, but I think my highlighter needs to be highlighted a little bit more. So we are finished with the cheeks and with my eyes and I think I love how does it come up. So I'm going to move to my lips. So for lips, I'm going to use... So for lips, I'm going to use my NYX Lingerie Professional Makeup, which is Dust to Dawn. And I'm using this lip shade for the first time as well, right just in front of you. But I have uh, NYX colors uh, before, but I think they are the really affordable and nice lip shades you can afford or you can have in your kit. So let's see. Oh, this is such a pretty color. Oh, pretty nude. Too mad. As I know that this is spring and mm. okay, this is Elf Liquid Eyeshadow. I think I'm gonna add some glitter on top of this shade so that it can get, have a little bit of highlight you know what i mean so let's see to give this a little bit of bronzy So 
to finish this whole makeup look, I'm gonna use my Maybelline Master Fix Primer. I'm gonna spray all over my face. So these two palettes, they did a pretty good job. Very good blended, very pretty well blended. All the good shades in it for your spring, summer, and for winter. So I guess this is a must to go. You should have these two in your, in your kit. They have all the nude shades. They have the shimmery shades as well to add some festivity or some party party look to your makeup so and you can use these shades as your highlighter as well as I did so I guess I'm pretty must to have so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video I have actually used these two palettes as not an eyeshadow but the highlighter as well and I had a thought for a while that I can use it as a blusher as well so I guess this is must go and I give a thumbs up for this two palettes if you are a starter or even if you uh, so I have a uh, good faith on these two palettes 35 OM and 35 OS have very very beautiful shades in these two palettes you can use it in summer winter spring one has matte and one has um, shimmery shades so you can use it for festival season for um for your any uh, party season use it in your way i use i use this palette as a highlighter as well and for a while i had a thought that i can use it as a blusher as well so be creative use them if you are a starter and if you're a fan of makeup or you are a lover of makeup i think these two palettes must be in your i enjoyed filming this video and if you really want if you really like this particular video giving our uh, reviews in front of the camera and using some products for the first time in front of the camera uh, let me know and do not forget to put on comment box below that what are the products you want me to use for the first time in the front of the camera i can do that pretty well and i enjoyed filming this particular video so i'm sure uh, i can do many more as you want and do not forget to subscribe on my channel and do not forget to hit that bell button to get the notification as soon as i post the video and you will be the first one who will get the notification so that's all for today and i hope i will see you in my next video till then